So welcome, people. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah, I'm Paul Springer, Springer's Detailing. This is my brother, Evan Steger, metal polisher. One thing that drives me nuts on trucks and cars. Oh. oh, man. Look at those door jams. This is my father-in-law's farm truck. This thing is absolutely filthy. So this is a seven-year-old farm truck. Not sure if it's been washed. I doubt it. But we're going to show you how to dial these in. This is the greatest example because they're so dirty and they're going to come out so good. And I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to use some Time to Shine All Purpose Cleaner. And I have my detail brushes and Those my sponge. Those don't look like your normal detail brushes, Paul. No. Nope. <laughs> so I brought my polishers, but I didn't bring any brushes because I sent some to Evan. And they disappeared. They disappeared. But if you have a paintbrush in your garage. Which most of you do. This is a two inch paintbrush. And you're going to say, yeah, Paul, I have that. Why did you tape around the metal? Because when I was young and a rookie, I didn't tape the metal and I scratched the paint on a door jam. So I tape all my detail brushes and, and it's just electrical brushes. tape electrical huh? tape That's waterproof super easy super simple fix so we're going to show you we're going to rinse these we're going to wash them and degrease them rinse them again and then we're going to use some tire shine for certain parts we'll show you later and these things are going to look brand new so stay tuned stick around to the end you are not going to want to miss his little snippets at the end because it's pretty good stuff yeah. you're not going to want to miss it all right let's get on it So you'll notice when I'm pressure washing, and I love a pressure washer with door jams, because we have these nice lines that you can control where the water goes. And I only go to here, right where the hinges are, all the way around the bottom to here. That's because if I go up here, I'm going to get this truck completely, completely wet, and I don't want that. We're getting it wet a little bit, no big deal on the floor. Alright, so let's spray these. Use my all purpose right here. Some on your sponge. All on the bottom. All on the bottom. That's a spot I see a lot of people miss all the time. I get my brush, <coughs> I get my sponge, and in here is where you want to use that brush. A lot of people miss that spot because they open both doors and they do both of them right away and then they don't close that door to get in that little chunk there. So you're smart because I do one at a time. I leave this closed so I can get in here. And you want to wash all in here. Then you can open it. And get back to it. Yep. And then I'll get in here. Now this really isn't a time consuming process. I mean, it really doesn't take a ton of time to do this. Yeah. It's just one of those little things that a lot of people skip because it's like, I don't know, maybe like an extra 10 minutes to do it, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and, you know, it's just like anything, if you keep them maintained, next time you wash the vehicle, you can just wipe them out with a towel. And it's an out of sight, out of mind thing. Like, if I don't open the door while I'm washing, I don't really think about it 
until I go to get back in the car, and then I'm like, oh man, why didn't I wipe those door jams out? Yeah, but when they're this dirty, even it, it take you ten hours to wipe them nice with a towel. You know what I mean? Yeah, you'd never get them clean. So, how long that take us? Two minutes? I don't know. The camera's at like five minutes here. So, okay. so let's rinse them. And I rinse one door at a time. Keep the other one shut. Even though Evan washed right here, I'm still not going to rinse it with the door open. You get a little bit like this. And then we'll just towel out the rest. It's just all purpose cooler. And then I know also that you have like a color coded towel setup. Yes. And I think that's a genius idea. Sorry. Like <laughs> I use the blue for drying and then we use red anytime we're wiping stuff off of paint. We use gray for final, we use green for glass. And you've got yellows and blues and all kinds of stuff. Like you've got different stuff for door jams, different stuff for wheels. Yeah. It's an awesome setup. You have to keep everything separate. Because your window towels need to be the cleanest towels. Yeah. 100%. If I use my window towel on anything else other than glass, it's not a window towel. Anymore. Yeah. Paint towels are different from door jam towels, wheel towels. So it's a good thing to keep them in. Now I'm just going to blow out most of the water. And I'm just going to follow and wipe it out with a door jam towel. As you can see, he was just blowing out all the tight areas where the water likes to pull up and sit. And then we use the blue drying towels to dry everything else out. funny about Dodge trucks, I do a lot of Dodge trucks, this molding right here always comes off both sides yep. and I always push it back on. Super simple. Isn't that funny though? Yeah. <laughs> they all do it. They all do it. Okay. I'm wiping this one off. And then if you want to show them what you do in the door jams, okay. um, I would probably do the yellow one first. And then save the save the good stuff for last. Save it for the oh, end of the video. Oh, you want the ceramic sealer? Yeah. Because I think no no good detail is complete without it. Yeah. Especially in the door jams. Okay, so you notice Evan's wiping them out, getting all the rest of the water off. Um, Evan, there's a little more right here. Where? Sorry, just down there. So depending on the customer and the vehicle in my mobile detailing business, we'll actually paint correct door jams, ceramic coat door jams. Depends on the car, the customer. We do a lot of show cars. 
This is definitely not a show car. Um, but, you know, door jams are paint, just like paint on every other part of the car. So I like to put something on them. So I like the ceramic sealer. It's just a spray ceramic sealer from Time to Shine. You just put a little bit on your towel. It's the exact stuff we use on the paint on the exterior of the car. Because the door jams are clear coated. So it's the same paint as the outside. Yeah. yeah. So I always like to protect paint, especially door jams that have been neglected probably the truck's whole life. So that's it. Put it on, take it off with a towel. I'll switch you out. I'll okay. wipe out the front one while you're... And here's my favorite part of door jams. Now for those of you that stuck around to the end, this is the best part, because this is what will set you apart from a lot of the other people out there. And especially at car shows, it's one of the first things I see that doesn't get done. So, listen, this is a good one. So, the Time to Shine Tire Shine, as you know in our other videos, we use it on the motor. So in the hinges, there's a little boot that brings the wiring from the truck to the door for the locks and the windows and everything. You use a little bit of this on there. And on these little black plastics. You want the atomizer? Uh, too late. <laughs> Probably should have used the atomizer, but we're just going to go ahead and wipe it out. Wipe it into the black. Turn it over, just get it off the paint. Keep one set wet, that, and you can just touch up these door moldings. It makes these look really nice on you too. And if you look at most cars at car shows, that door molding, that rubber molding, is almost always filthy. And almost dry. always. And super dry. And super dried and cracked and rotted. Close this up so I can get it inside of you. You know me. I'm gonna do it. You gotta do it right. Yeah. Might as well wipe them hinges down. And I know you're gonna want to get the back side of this rubber boot anyways. Mm -hmm. Get out of your way. It's the best part, getting to watch Paul do his thing. <laughs> I just get to stand around for a change. It's nice. Just gives it that extra little pop. Yeah. As soon as you pop that door open, it's all clean. All the rubber looks fresh. It's just, it's a nice, nice change of pace. It's just another thing to make the truck look brand new. And like I said, especially if you're detailing, it's one of those things that puts you above the next guy. I can't tell you how many detailers I watch on Instagram or Facebook that are posting pictures and videos and it's like they missed it completely. Well, I hate dirty cars, yeah. like with a passion. Yeah. I hate them. So I turned that into a, a successful detailing business. Yeah. And I years? treat every car as if it was my own. So door jams, dirty, drive me nuts. Why not go over and above? Dress the rubbers, the hinges, wax the door jams. And it only took them. 15 minutes. Depending on what the customer wants to pay, yeah. we could pay correct and ceramic coat door jams too. But it's a farm truck. Yeah. Anyways, it just takes it to the next level. And you know when you open the door? Yeah, these are dirty and that's dirty. Those door jams sure look damn good. <laughs> <laughs> that's a true story. Looks really good. That's a true story. And simple to do. Yeah, and that ceramic sealer honestly just makes that paint just pop. I mean, that extra little bit of gloss. And it'll help keep 
help them stay clean. I know after I was out by you last time and I saw one of your main customers that you wiped the doors out all the time, his truck was what, four years old? And still look like it was brand new off yeah. the lot. Yeah. I started doing it on my truck and I noticed that every time now I just give my my door jams just a dry towel on my way through because I've cleaned it so many times now. Even after driving through the rain some days, just coming through with my wet towel as I'm drying the truck off, just dry my door jams out. Yeah. And it doesn't take much at all to keep it looking nice. My truck still looks like it's pretty new as well. Yeah. I mean, I didn't maintain it as well as I should have at first because... We'll talk about that later. <laughs> anyway, it's all about maintenance, um, good products, good techniques, great tools. Um, if you got a bro help, it goes twice as fast, twice as fun. Absolutely. I hope you guys find these videos helpful. And thanks for Paul to coming all the way out here to Wisconsin from California yep. to uh, help make some quality content for our channel finally. And his channel is going to be getting a bunch of these videos as well. So uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying them. If you guys are on my channel, swing on over to Paul's channel and give him a follow. Uh, it's Paul Springer or Springer's Detailing. Springer's Detailing. I'm going to get it right sooner or later. Springer's Detailing, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And then, of Thank course... You. If you guys are on Paul's channel, I'm from Evans Detailing and Polishing on YouTube, um, Metal Polisher 3826 on Instagram. Yep. And yeah, Time to Shine products available on GoShineOn.com slash shop. And there's a few products Paul uses that are outside of what we use. I know you use a bunch of the stoner products and you've had really good luck with them for a number of years. Yeah, we have and maybe next year Time to Shine will get the Marisol. Fingers crossed we'll we can see. get into some of the Quite Marisol. Quite a process. But thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned because we got more for you. Like, subscribe, and follow. Yep. Appreciate you guys. Don't keep me hanging. <laughs>